Getting some work in, in the cage on this lovely evening. You know, um, we've got great mats uh, in the other rooms and stuff, but it's hard to get work on a wall. So a, a big part of my game is cage takedowns, you know, um, the clinch, sequencing stuff together. So just getting in here, feeling the cage, ripping some takedowns, getting some submissions, doing a little bit of light pad work. And uh, just, I mean, right now it's all just kind of keep moving until the fight, you know? <laughs> Slow and steady. I think I shine brightest under the light, so my training partner Anthony will tell you, I probably put it on a little bit harder today just because I was feeling myself whenever, this is my home, right? This is where I'm the most Kayla. This is the real me. It's not wearing makeup, it's not whatever. This right here is, is where I feel the most at peace. I'm gonna go in and still my will, one round at a time, one minute at a time, one exchange at a time until I, knock her out, submit her, or uh, TKO her. I'm very happy here, you know, because I just feel in the smart cage here, and it's amazing. I have to visualize everything, you know, for my fight, uh, May 6th. And uh, yes, I just uh, feeling everything here, you know, you have to look everything. I feel very well, you know, in the, uh, various different positions, like in the ground, stand up, uh, in the cage, in the, close the cage there, you know, bad position too. And I feel very well, man. My, my focus in the fight is amazing, you know, like a very focused, the same thing like my, my last fight, because I think uh, the, the best uh, shape is not just your body, but your mind too, you know, the same line. When you got it the same line, you'll be a champion for sure. I know because I did a lot of times this. And uh, sometimes you have your body like uh, 100%, but your mind is not working, you know? No opposite too. Uh, your mind is okay, but your body no not respond. Uh, now I feel like the same line, both, you know, my mind and my body. You know, I'm happy to the SPN, go to the, everybody see that, I like uh, open for everybody that. But for sure, I, I, I give a good show for everybody. I and mean, in Brazil too, I'm very happy in Brazil. A lot of guys watch my fight there, and everything is good. Hey! <laughs> All right, guys, welcome to Virtual Media Day 3. What made you decide to sign with the PFL? Was it the tournament system or anything else, or just the roster strength? It's not necessarily a tournament, it's a season. And the, the season <laughs> format, uh, I really, really enjoyed. And, uh, and you know, we, we have regular season, we have playoffs, and we have the championship. That resonated with me because I play football, you know. So uh, it, it's, it just made it feel like like I'm just in the NFL. This is the professional fighter, this is the PFL. So this is the NFL of MMA. Who do you think is your biggest threat in this tournament? Uh, I, I like to just I like to just focus on one opponent at a time, you know, and in the season format. Now, it's not a tournament. Uh, if it was a tournament, it would be totally different. This is a season that we're in. This is the – we're in regular season of the PFL, and uh, – and, I'm just and I'm just focused on one fight at a time, one opponent. Everybody here is in, you know, is running for a million dollars. So nobody here is easy. Up next, we have Mariana. Would you rather outclass your opponent, or would you rather get in there, finish her, and get out? Bom, me preparei para qualquer momento, mas uh, eu quero buscar logo um nocaute e para finalizar a luta logo. Kayla Harrison came out a couple of days ago and saying that she expects Larissa Pacheco to be uh, the hardest challenge in the tournament this year. Do you think that Kayla is overlooking you at all? And what message do you have to the critics out there that may be overlooking you as well? Sim, acho também que pode estar me subestimando, não me conhece ainda, mas também vejo a Larissa como um grande desafio aí pela frente também. We're going to go ahead and bring in Hannah Pereira. How much media attention is this fight getting in Brazil, and how has it changed your profile? Essa essa luta em si trouxe uma grande visibilidade, né? O Vedum é um grande ídolo, 
e também sempre acompanhei a história dele. E poder lutar com um cara de, de grande, é, um cara que fez história no MMA, é, para mim é uma oportunidade muito grande. Então, eu estou preparado para isso, com cabeça boa, quero chegar lá, dar o meu melhor. E creio que isso aí pode, pode me trazer grandes frutos.